In this video, we're gonna be talking all about the email templates page. There's a couple ways that we can get started here. You can choose a default template, you can import HTML, or you create a new template from scratch. For this video, we're gonna be creating a new template from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the new email template button. You'll be given the option to use a template in an email marketing campaign or in an email journey. For this video, I'm not sure yet where I wanna use my template, so I'm just gonna click, I'm not sure yet. Once you've clicked that, you'll be shown the template editor. This is where the magic happens. This is where you'll build everything, you'll import your images, you'll link your buttons. Anything you can think of will be done in this editor. There's a few different topics we're gonna to be covering. We're gonna be talking about padding, rows and columns, content blocks, specifically images and buttons, and color. So let's first talk about padding. Padding is the spacing around your content and around your rows. Now say I don't want there to be any white spacing. I would go down into the general section and I would choose there to be zero padding. Now you can see the image has completely filled out. But say, I'm not exactly sure if that looks that great. I wanna add some padding on the top. I'll go ahead and click the more options button. I'm gonna choose say padding of 30. So now you see there's nice space on top of my image. Same thing for rows. Right off the bat, it'll default to having a padding of 10. If I didn't wanna have any padding, I would just put zero. Now let's talk about rows and columns. If you click around the perimeter of the template, you'll select a row. You can drag content blocks in and out of the row depending on how you want your template to look. So for example, let's start with a fresh new row. By default, the row will only have one column. But for this example, I would like three columns. Now it gives me the option to drag in the content blocks. So I'm gonna do an image, a button, and social icons. Now that leads us to our next section. Let's talk about the image content block. Say I want to crop the image. Instead of leaving Hive and using a photo editing tool, I can edit the image directly within Hive by clicking the apply effects and more button. This is super helpful if you wanna apply any filters, add text, et cetera, all to your image. So now I'm happy with my image, I'm gonna go ahead and close the editor. Now let's talk about the button. On the right hand side, you'll see the option to input your URL for the button, as well as the padding of the button. So for this button, I want it to have no round border, so I'm gonna put zero. I also want this button to look really long and narrow. So I'm gonna crank up the left padding to be 50 on both left and right, and then top, I'm gonna put five and bottom, I'm gonna put five again. And then I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna change the text to say, click me. And I'm gonna change the font size to be 10. Wow, that button looks so great. Okay, <laughs> I think that this row needs some love. It needs some color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the row and I'm going to select a background color of this nice pale yellow. And then I want the background color of the content blocks to be a nice pastel green. There we go. And just for good measure, I'm gonna change the color of the button because it looks gross. Very nice. So let's say that I'm gonna be using this specific row with these changes a lot in future templates. I can go ahead and save this row as a block. Let's call this test, there we go. And now it's saved automatically in the right-hand sidebar under blocks. I can drag it in at any time and make specific changes. This way you don't have to format new sections all the time and you can just save specific sections you know you'll be using a lot. Once you've edited your email and it looks super great, you can go ahead and preview the email in a new window. You can click the desktop review button in the bottom left-hand corner to see how it would look on desktop or click mobile to see how it would look on your phone. And then last step is you can also send yourself a test email or to several colleagues. Once you've done all of that and you're happy with how the template looks, you can go ahead and click the save template button. Now, if you've already made a version of this template and you wanna overwrite the changes, you can go ahead and select the template from here. Or if you wanna create a brand new template, you can type the name of the template here. That concludes the rest of this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out some of our resources linked in the description below. 